Hi, I'm Ravine. I'm a research engineer on the Gemma team, and I'm focused on usability. Today, I want to help you answer a question. Which Gemma version is the right one for you? We just launched Gemma 3, which is the newest iteration in the Gemma family. This new version has many capabilities, like multimodality, multilinguality, and long contacts. It also comes in different sizes, as you can see here. Let's break down what each of these concepts mean so you can pick the best version for your use case. The 27B model is designed to run in a single node server or a high-end desktop. The 12B model is designed to run in a high-end laptop. The 4B model is ideal for a high-end mobile device or laptop. And we have a 1B text-only model that's optimized for resource-constrained devices. To make it easier to understand, let me give you some examples of use cases and how you would pick the model size for each case. When you need top tier multimodal performance from a local model, Gemma 27B is the clear choice. Gemma 27B is the most capable model for TPU and GPU. When you're planning a trip at home, you can use the Gemma 27B model to get all the details right to ensure you have the best time abroad. However, once you get on the flight, you realize there's some travel instructions in a different language, and you forgot to pack your desktop computer in your carry-on. No matter, you can use Gemma 12B on a high-end laptop or 4B on a more resource-constrained laptop to translate the image on your device. No internet connection required. Here's Gemma translating a friend sign all on a single laptop. And let's say you're right about to land. You were asked to stow your laptop and you just realize you have nothing planned for the whole day. Gemma 1B works efficiently on your phone and can be your planning partner in your pocket at a moment's notice. Cool, now you know how to pick a model size. So the next question is, do you need a pre-trained model or an instruction tune model? If you're not sure, chances are you want the instruction tune model. This is the one that has all the behavior that users expect from a modern LLM, such as chat and conversation abilities. However, if you need specific performance for certain domains, you may want to fine tune the pre-trained model with your own data. If you need to squeeze these models onto a smaller device, we also train these models in a way that reduces their memory usage through quantization, but also retains most of their performance. Of course, you can always use these smaller models on larger devices for faster speed and performance. The takeaway is with Gemma models, the choice is yours. You have many options to select the right model for the right use case. And if you're still using Gemma 2, we encourage you to switch to Gemma 3. It has better performance across the board on all sizes, and users agree. You can try Gemma right now on AI Studio in just seconds. And for local users, you can download these all from Hugging Face, Kaggle, or on Olama onto your own device, including the pre-trained and instruction tuned variants. To learn more about Gemma 3 or how to get started with Gemma models, take a look at the Gemma documentation and the many examples we have in the Gemma cookbook. Links to these resources are in the description below. Thanks for watching.